Greetings, my name is Marian Asantua Nkansa, an Associate Professor of Chemistry at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Ghana. I would like to share with you a topic that has been on my mind for some time now. That is, is Africa a favorite destination for global e-waste? Electronic and electric equipment can be simply defined as products which require a power supply or battery use in order to function effectively. And this can include computers, refrigerators, cell phones and others. An equipment is classified as e-waste or waste electric and electronic equipment when the owner discards it as a whole or its parts without any intention of reuse. It is estimated that in the year 2017, the global e-waste that was generated was about 50 million tons, and it has been extrapolated to cover about 52.2 million tons in the year 2021. Out of the waste that was generated in 2017, only 10% was recycled. The remaining 60 to 90% were exported to Africa and Asia, with Ghana and Nigeria, Ivory Coast and the Democratic Republic of Congo topping the list for Africa. E-waste movements to developing countries follows informal rules they are sold as second hand or scrap or sometimes other illegal rules that are not known. And they said to contribute to about $19 billion to the, the patrons. E-waste contains highly toxic substances that are harmful to humans and also to the environment. However, the products can also have components that can be repaired, reused, and even sometimes recoverable precious metals like copper. The movement of e-waste to least developed countries is a growing trend which seems to have no end in sight. But there is ready market and the lack of regulations and enforcement in most cases makes it thrive. There is also a general preference for second-hand versions of high-end brands which appear to be more durable and cheap compared to imitations of the same brands which are brand new. The e-waste industry is a vibrant part of the informal sector in most developing countries and the practice thrives due to the improved livelihood it offers patrons and the service providers. It is estimated that about 2,000 and 15,000 tons of electric and electronic equipment are imported to Ghana every year. Out of this number, 30% are brand new and 70% are second-hand. Out of the second-hand products, 15% are outdated or broken down and have no use, so can be considered as scrap. Among the second-hand goods that are distributed in Ghana, those that can be sold as a whole are distributed for domestic and industrial use, and others go through sorting and also processing of spare parts for use, dismantling, and then extraction of precious metals. All these processes are done under very dangerous conditions because workers have no recourse to their personal safety or the safety of the environment in which they work in. Research over the past decade has focused on analysis of air, soil and water bodies within the catchment areas of the sites. The research over the years has focused on analysis of air, soil and water bodies within the catchment areas and also urine and blood samples of workers. Studies have confirmed elevated levels of pollutants such as aromatic hydrocarbons, lead, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, and other toxic substances. These pollutants can cause organ failure, cardiovascular diseases, and even cancer. Ongoing research study by my team has also confirmed these substances that I've already mentioned and also include flame retardants, which can cause hormonal changes, fertility problems, and even cancer. The situation is not all that gloomy. There's been interventions as far as Ghana is concerned. In the year 2011, Ghana developed an e-waste strategy, which was focused on conformity, assessment, technology partnerships, financial mechanisms, and also the establishment of national recycling centers, among others. Now my parting words to everybody listening to me now is that e-waste trade in Africa can be considered as a double-edged sword. It can be regarded as a helpless situation with its associated health and environmental hazards or a useful resource that can be harnessed.